Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Jessica Jones and we're doing Season 1, Episode 8, called AKA WWJD? So it's like basically what would Jesus do, but what would Jessica do? So we start with a flashback of Jessica's family on a trip and how she kind of had like a little bit more strength than the average person, I feel like, just because she threw um, her Game Boy against the window and it broke. And then we go back to the present day where Kilgrave took her phone and they go around the house and it's exactly the same as before. He actually got research and researched everything that the old house looked like and actually bought all the furniture that was in there. And then um, he's not going to use her powers on her. And then Trish calls Jessica, and Kilgrey gives her back the phone to tell her something. And so she tells Trish that she needs a break, and then uh, she gets back the phone and goes upstairs and locks herself in her room. And then rips um, a purple dress in there. I think that's a nod because I think she used to wear like, a purple dress or something in the comments, but I'm not sure because I'm not really a comment person. And then she goes downstairs and drinks wine. And then Jessica um, tests Kilgrave by breaking the wine bottle and, you know, testing it out. And it's not good for the servants because they will off themselves if she acts or misbehaves. Then she goes back. Uh, then she goes to Philip's room and then spots Simpson. And he's trying to plant. He put a bomb in the basement. She tells him to leave, so he does, and then she tells Kilgrave about the bomb, but she also took Simpson's phone uh, when she told him to leave. So she's recording Kilgrave, and then we have Hogarth um, is having her di uh, divorce meeting. Then Jessica sent a message to her. I think it was like audio files from Kilgrave. Then Trish talks to Simpson and basically tells her to back out. Uh, she gets really pissed for Jessica, and then Jessica hears the news, and so um, basically about this shootout that's happening in New York, and so she goes to the outside with Kilgrave, and then a nosy neighbor talks to him, and uh, she joins them. Then Kilgrave calls her out, basically saying that her that Phil was a bad kid, and she was a bad kid, and blah 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 blah. And so Kilgrave calls her out and, and uses her powers on her. And so she tells the truth, how like, it just makes her feel more important. And then uh, Jessica calls him out for abusing her. And then talks about his parents. And basically, like, you know, it was kind of crappy for him, too. Then, uh, give, then he gives her a thumb drive, and turns out his parents actually violated him, slash experimented on him. And then she sends voice file again, and so they watch the news. They Jessica suggests they go on a ride. So they actually go to the crime scene, and wants him to do the hero thing. Then Jessica tells Kilgrave not to have the guy off himself and to turn himself in. So, uh, Kilgrave did it, and then he is super hyped that she did something, like, heroic and stuff. He's like, I want a cake when I get back. So, um, he wants to be a duo with her. Then Jessica says she wants to go for a walk, and then we have a flashback where Jessica broke, uh, Game Boy, and then the accident, basically what I said earlier. Anyway. And then we have the present day where, uh, Jessica visits Trish, and, Wants to know what would she do if they could use his powers for good. They're not really having that. So um, Trish is like, oh, that's not a good idea. And then we cut to where Wendy, um, which is Hogarth's uh, soon-to-be ex-wife, um, is blackmailing her. And so Hogarth, Hogarth texts Jessica. And then we cut to where the servants are staring at the window. For Jess without blinking. And then he texts Hogarth on her phone. <laughs> so basically, Kilgrave has a phone and texts his bitches be crazy. <laughs> or something. So I had this thing. Okay. And then uh, she got Chinese food and they eat and she drugs them and basically takes a laptop and Kilgrave. And Simpson shows up and she uh, skates with Kilgrave. 
And then the neighbor uh, gets to Simpson and tries to blow them up. And I think it kills everyone except Simpson. And that's the end of the episode. Um, this was a really good episode. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, you get more of her backstory in like little pieces. And she's still trying to deal with stuff. And she's, you know, I think she's trying to get through what she needs to get through to do what she needs to do. Anyway, I'm not going to explain to myself. Anyway, uh, I like everything that's been happening in this uh, series so far. I've really enjoyed it. So that's what I do for this episode, this video. <laughs> so if you like this video, please go to uh, like, comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree or disagree? Uh, like, dislike it. I don't care. Just do something. And then comment if y'all said any suggestions for any movies or TV shows. Just let me know down below. And subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. I try to keep it nice, short, and sweet and simple. Because I know some of these people say, like, hit the bell, and do this or that. I don't give up. You see it when you see it. If you, you want to hit the damn bell, I don't care. I don't know why people say, oh, I'll just do that. Anyway, I wish y'all have a super awesome day, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, everybody.